What's up, YouTube? This is Brian from Bullstrength coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be reading a BuzzFeed article about thin privilege. Here we go again. All right, today we're going to be reading 13 things that no thin person will ever experience. And just like with my other videos, um, this is completely real reaction. I haven't read this article. I don't know what's ahead, uh, but we're going to we're going to get through this journey together and, and see what kind of nonsense we can dig up. I'm sure that we are going to learn a ton about thin privilege, a ton about fat acceptance, and I'm, I'm ready to get woke. I'm ready to get educated. Let's jump into this. All right, so we're coming in with number one here. Uh, the salesperson who tries to get you to buy clothes that don't fit, saying you'll lose the weight. Yeah, that's probably something that a thin person probably never experiences. Um, that's a very good point, BuzzFeed. Number one is a valid point. A thin person, uh, typically people won't make comments about them losing weight. All right, that's a good one. Number two, or arguing that the fabric in jeans is stretchy. Okay, I'm a little stumped here. Uh, uh, is that rude? Jeans are stretchy. I mean, if you have thicker legs, that would be a selling point. And this wouldn't be just something that you would say to a fat person. You would say it to somebody even like me, uh, who has really thick, uh, legs. Um, so if you have thick legs, um, the person who's trying to sell you clothes might tell you, uh, that the fabric is stretchy. Um, that's not meant to be offensive, though, so stop getting offended. Number three, when a doctor or trainer tiptoes around the question of how much you weigh. Hmm, yeah, that's, that's pretty odd because as a personal trainer, that's something that I do on day one uh, with all of my clients, regardless of what you look like. Like, if you're with me and, and you're trying to train and you're trying to look different, um, on day one, we got to get your weight. We got to get some measurements, right? Because we got to be able to track your progress. So this is not something that a trainer, this is not something that I would tiptoe around. This is like a day one, like, hey, we're doing your, your physical evaluation. Go ahead and get on the scale and let's see what you weigh. Uh, this, is, this is a completely invalid point. Okay, first one. Not too bad, bu BuzzFeed. I guess you've got two valid points maybe i ah, will say one the first one's valid the second one's just stupid third one uh this does not apply this is this is dumb let's move on number four failing to understand why being thin is the standard in the u.s even though the majority of the population is overweight um it's not that it's the standard in the u.s it's not so much a societal thing it's that human beings follow me here i might i might be moving a little too fast but human beings that have a healthy BMI are, are healthier. Um, you're less prone to cancer, to heart disease, uh, to a lot of different diseases, uh, diabetes. Um, so yeah, there's an expectation of being thinner because we all want to see each other be healthy for the most part, right? Um, nobody wants to see somebody suffer through life. Um, and, you know, if a fat person is stuffed in their face and they're just having a miserable, depressing time on earth, um, it would behoove the people around them to kind of, uh, you know, encourage them to make a change. So, yeah, I don't think that being thin is the standard in the U.S. I actually think it's a stereotype in the U.S. Uh, and you can ask any foreigner this, but it's a stereotype in the U.S. that we're all a bunch of fat asses. Um, and I, I have foreign friends that have told me this. Like, that's a stereotype. We curse a lot and we're fat. Number five, being told to stand in the back or suck it in when you're getting your picture taken. Yeah, that's probably so that everybody else in the picture can actually be seen. Uh, although that is kind of a rude thing to say up front. Um, typically people that are larger go to the back, right? And this that, that doesn't just apply to being wide, that applies to being tall too. Like if you get a picture with a bunch of people, tall people go to the back because tall people are going to block out the shorter people. Uh, and likewise, a fat person is going to block out a bunch of thin people. So we want the bigger people, right, in both weight and height to be in the back uh, so that everybody in the photograph can be seen. I can't believe I'm, this is a serious video. Like I'm actually, I'm actually breaking this down like, an, like a real adult wrote this article, but um, it appears to be written by 
a middle schooler. Everyone, we have an announcement to make. Stop bullying! Six, you feel like dying every time you have to buy clothes for a formal event such as a wedding or a graduation. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, you shouldn't feel that way. Um, you know, if you're healthy at any size and you're accepting your fatness, you shouldn't have a problem, right, BuzzFeed? Because, I mean, you guys do push that message quite a bit that, that fat people should just kind of accept it and uh, accept their fate. Accept the fact that you're killing yourself. Go ahead and choke down that food. Go ahead and keep puffing down them cigarettes. Yeah, it's going to kill you quick. That's that's the tolerant thing, right? That's that's the that's the that's the hippie way to go. Is to, uh, tell fat people to keep gorging themselves and uh, eventually murder themselves through their diet. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad thing. I mean, I mean, it, it sucks that that you have a bad self-image, but honestly, the mainstream media is doing everything it can to make your self-image worse with all of this fat acceptance nonsense. Trust me, Tess Holiday, all of these people that claim to be happy. Uh, they're not. They're not happy. It's a show. They're actors. Um, and you will know if you try to adopt these uh, philosophies into your own life um, that simply accepting the fact that you're fat is not actually going to make you happy. So yeah, you probably do feel bad uh, when you're picking out clothes, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, I would say you just got to lose the weight, but that's that's the simple version. There's There's mental things involved with that too. So uh, you just need to work on yourself one way or another. It's probably going to start with seeing a psychologist, to be honest, uh, and then a personal trainer. Number seven, you feel like people are staring at you every time you go and eat fast food. Yeah, you're probably being judged. Um, and that's another thing that's unfortunate. But, you know, if you're gigantic and you're just stuffing down thousands of calories, um, it's probably going to attract some attention. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's unhealthy addictive behavior and you're feeding it um you know it would be like somebody sitting in the back smoking a cigarette you're doing addictive behavior that's killing you um and i don't know people notice that it sucks i guess number eight they automatically think you're the funny person of the group just because you're fat yeah i kind of i agree with this picture of jonah hill here uh it's not a thing it's that's not a thing. I don't know where you came up with that. Number nine, hooking up with someone who says they like being with you because they like having a little extra meat to hold on to. Okay, yeah, that's something that a thin per person would never experience, but is that a bad thing? That's your partner saying that they really like your body type and they really like how you look. Um, I don't know how you're trying to spend this into a negative thing there, BuzzFeed. Um, but this is a positive thing when, when the person you're with says that they like how you look, um, that's, that's good. It's a good thing. Number 10, receiving miracle recipes that will help you slim down from everyone, you know, yeah, the, your people in your network, your friends and family, they probably just want to see you live longer. They want to see you live a happier, healthier life. Uh, because unlike what the fat acceptance movement tries to preach, um, all of that extra inflammation uh, that you're getting from your terrible, terrible diet is actually contributing greatly to your depression. Um, so yes, changing your, your, your diet um, will alleviate symptoms of depression. Um, and yeah, your loved ones are just looking out for you. I don't think that this is a bad thing. Um, they just want to see you be not depressed and live longer. Um, Number 10 is not whatever. I guess it's valid. That's something that a thin person will never experience, I guess. But um, that's just a dumb point. Come on. The people around you are trying to help you. Okay, number 11. People saying that they don't think you're fat as if uh, that was some kind of high praise. Yeah, I'm, uh, can I skip 11? I'm just going to skip 11. That's just that's too dumb to even talk, even talk on. Number 12. When someone asks why your clothes are so tight as if you didn't have the right to wear them. Someone asks why your clothes are so tight as if you didn't have the right to wear them. I don't think that there's people that are that brash and rude uh, out in the general public. This is probably not something that people typically experience. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this author made that up. Stop bullying! That doesn't sound real. That's really dumb. 
And number 13, we are through. This is the last one. Thank God, this is the last one. People automatically think that you're terrible at sports because you're fat. Yeah. That's because you're fat. You are terrible at sports. It's objective. There's no questioning that. You can't run as fast. You can't jump as high. You don't have as much athletic ability because you're overweight. It's, is that really a thing? <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, God. The things I do for you guys, the amount of brain cells that I'm willing to waste going through these articles is one of the dumbest things I've ever read. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Um, I'm trying to mix it up. You know, I got my advice videos that I put out and then these kind of like fat acceptance, thin privilege videos. It's been a little while since I've done any kind of social commentary. So expect more of these more often. They're going to be in the rotation more. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.